Starting from this section, we are going to work on register and login component. So whatever code we have written in the back end, that entire code we will access in front end and we will work on registration and login from front end. So first we are going to work on this registration form. For that, open editor, close all the files and inside src, I will be creating one folder user. Inside this, I will create register.jsx. Here I will be writing RFCE. Inside this, I will write register user. Now I will open navbar. And inside this navbar, we have already defined the links. And whenever we click on this icon, we will be redirected to register route. Let me come to my project. As soon as we click on this link, you can see we will be redirected to this route. So inside app.jsx, we are going to define route for register. I will open app.jsx, copy this exact same thing, remove this. Here I will be writing register. And whenever I am having this route, I have to render this register component. As soon as I hit enter, register component will be imported. Now you can see whenever I am having this route, whatever content I am having in register.jsx, entire thing will be displayed. Now in this project, multiple times we will be using same design for the form. So what I have done for register and form, I have just included same stylings. So here I will access user styles and in the same file I am having entire styling. So file name is form.css. Now remove this entire thing. For this, I will give the class form container as well as I will be giving another class container. Okay, this is my entire div. Inside this, I will create another div. For this, I will give the class as form content. Okay, this is the parent div inside which I am having another div. Here I will be creating form. For this, I will give the class as form. Hit enter. I do not need action attribute, so I am just going to remove. Inside this form, I will be writing h2. Here I will give the text as sign up. Now save this. Come to my project. You can see we are having this entire form content inside which I am having this heading. Below this, I will create one div. For this, I will give the class as input group. Inside this div, we are going to create one input field. Type will be text. I will give the placeholder. I will give simple placeholder as username. You can give enter your name or enter your username. But for simplicity, I will only pass username. Then most important attribute, I will be passing name. And for this, I will assign the value name. Later on, when we work with state, you will understand why we are passing this field. Now exact same thing, I am just going to copy. Below this, I will be pasting. This one, I will be giving email. Placeholder, I will give email. And for this name field also, I am just going to pass email. Now exact same thing, copy again, paste. I will select this, this one and this one and for all this I will be giving password and for placeholder I will make it as capital P. Now save this, come to project, we are having all the fields, below that we are having one input field for image. So here copy this entire thing, below this I will be pasting, now for this I will be giving another class. I will write avatar group and whenever we are working with images for that type will be file we do not need any placeholder remove that and for this name attribute I will be giving avatar for this input field I will also pass the class name class name I will write file input then finally I will pass one more attribute except inside which I am just going to pass this image. I should accept images. So here 
in this way i will be passing the value now come to project you can see we are having this input field then below this we are having one image preview so below this input field i will be creating one image and inside this alt i will write avatar preview okay later on using state value we are going to display the data now let me come here you can see i am having this alt text then finally we are having this button so below this diff container i will be creating one button for this i will give the class as auth btn and inside this we will write sign up then last thing below this button i will create one paragraph for this i will give the class as form links so if the user is already registered we are going to display this message now i will copy here i will be pasting and this entire sign in here we are just going to wrap inside this link element as soon as we hit enter link element will be imported copy this text and inside this i will be pasting here we are going to pass to and inside this i will pass slash login if the user is already registered as soon as user clicks on this you can see user will be redirected to login page now let us come to our project if i click on this user will be redirected to login page so first we are going to work on registration later on we will be working on login so just focus on login page so as of now let us just focus on registration form now below this we are going to create states for all the input fields and one by one i will not be creating state for input fields instead what i will do i will write here user setter function set user is equal to use state and inside this initial value i will be passing as object of options now what i have to pass i will be passing name initially it will be empty email empty and then finally we are having password so in this way i'm just going to pass initial value to my state now what i will do inside this input field i will be passing value so this user is nothing but object and from this user we have to access the name user dot name but definitely i do not want to do this so directly i'm just going to destructure all the values name email and password from this user state and now whenever i am passing the value i can only pass name instead of writing user dot name now exact same thing i will be writing value inside this i will be passing email then here i will write value inside this i will be passing password for this image we are going to create separate state but as of now for our input field we have created the state where initial value we have passed as object of options now here below this we are going to create state for our images input field inside this i will be passing avatar setter function set avatar is equal to u state and initially we will not be selecting any image so i will be passing empty string then finally we are having this image element inside which we are going to display preview of the image so for that also i'm just going to create the state const i will give the state as avatar preview setter function set avatar preview is equal to u state and inside this i will be passing default image path so from this images folder first let me open public folder inside this i have given profile.png so that image i'm just going to pass as default image profile.png now save this copy this avatar preview scroll down and inside this src i'm just going to paste that state let me come to my project okay for this we have to give the class this is our image and also for this i will be passing the class name class name i will be writing avatar 
Now save this. Come to project. You can see successfully we are able to render username, email, password, and this input field for selecting images. And in place of this, whenever user selects the image, we are going to show preview of the image. And we are having button. And whenever we click on this, we will be redirected to login page. This is how we are going to create simple registration form.